White. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? He just misses there with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Right up the elbow. By the a couple of chins here being tested early. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. The takedown is not there. And he landed the right hand there. with the uppercut. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Let me see that hook now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Choi's got the tie clinched. Let's see what he can do. Left hand punch with the clinch. Just over three minutes to go. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Huge knee lands to the point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Straight right, he misses. Blocks the shot. Right punches there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. How's he gonna follow this thing up? Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he heard a bad with the jab. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he 
really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angle. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice loop and punch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Sneaky head kick. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Elbow lands for him. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go here. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And potentially a critical takedown here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Short. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Choi. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Real quick leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Blocks that kick to the body. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. What a punch. Beautiful take down lane. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Just out of range with that right hook. 
That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch over the top. He lands with the left. Swing and a big miss by Chor. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Real sneaky by the He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Let's get those straight, punches straight right hand, no good. Powerful leg kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Got the single collar tie. Just misses with the right hook. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Choi. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Great punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Over and over, he's landing these big hands body high, kicks. Hands high. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick there. Back and forth we go! Just out of the range with that right hand. Enters in on the double leg. And they separate. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Choi gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. There's no give on that leg kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice punch there by Choi. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Big slam takedown, that was beautiful. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big punch lands through the middle. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big kick lands. Flipped him with the right hand there. More strikes to the head. Big double leg level change. Side control now. Now connects with the right. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck, and he will have to submit. Effective punch there by Choi. Nice leg kick land. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Under two minutes to go. Lands the right hand. Oh. 
Both fighters back to their feet now. That knee might have landed there. Oh, huge block. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Seconds remain in the round. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's going so fast, so crisp. Nice. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, big punch lands. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just out of range with the big right hand. How good is that right hand? Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso, nasty. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big body kick. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, nice high kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tie. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Uh, you are better at this. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. Oh! Oh, straight right. Just misses with that big right hand. Nice punch there. All 
right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Lunges forward with a left there. Good punch, Lance. Wow, he actually got the take down. And there's the single leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Both fighters get up now. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, knee to the head. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, big left hook there. So the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl. Do -ho!